Let us consider a projectile projected from the point O and let this be the path of the projectile and finally it reached the point P. Let U be the velocity of projection and theta the angle of projection. So in this video, we will discuss about the maximum height covered by the projectile. Maximum height. Maximum height. The maximum height, we represent that as h. This, basically this maximum height means the maximum vertical distance covered by the projectile during its motion. So if this point is, if, if I call this point as s and this point as t, then this distance st is the maximum vertical height covered by the projectile and that will be our height h. So how will you find the height? How, how will you find an expression for height? For that, first you should resolve this u. Uh, this u, this is the initial velocity and this can be resolved one along the x-axis and other along the y-axis. The component along the x-axis will be u cos theta and the component along the y-axis will be u sin theta. u sin theta. Now you have to take the third kinematic equation of motion. We, we know the third kinematic equation is v square is equal to u square plus 2as where v is the final velocity, u is the initial velocity, a means acceleration and s the distance of displacement. Since we are considering only a straight line, both the distance and displacement remains the same. Now let's take, consider, consider the vertical, vertical motion of the projectile of the projectile from the point from the point O to point S. Let's consider this motion. So we have to change all the values correspondingly. We remember this is our O is our initial point and S is the final point and we only consider the vertical components. So the final velocity is the velocity at the point s since we have an acceleration see acceleration will be which a, a y means acceleration along the y direction which is always gravity gravity is that acceleration along the x axis and it will be it, it will it acts in the downward direction so we have to put a minus sign we know this gravity since it is along the y axis in the negative y axis that is from top to bottom it keep on reducing this u sin theta so at the highest point s the velocity will be zero that's the reason why it turned back the projectile turned back so at the highest point the velocity is zero before that you have to consider all the factors or all the components on you have to consider only the components along the y axis so instead of v we have to write v y square that is well final velocity along the y direction is equal to initial velocity along the y direction that is u y square plus 2 a y acceleration along y, y direction and s y so when you substitute all the values you have v y see the final point is s so the final velocity in the y direction is zero so zero square equal to the initial position or the initial point is zero and the initial velocity in the vertical direction is u sin theta so you have to write u sin theta whole square so this is the u y plus 2 into you know gravity is minus g acceleration in the y direction is minus g minus g from o to the point s we are only considering the motion from o to s the vertical displacement is h so you have to write h this is our s y on simplifying you get 0 is equal to this will be u square 
sin square theta minus 2gh or 2gh is equal to u square sin square theta. So the value of height will be, let's clear this space. So h is equal to taking the move that 2g to the right, you will get h is equal to u square sin square theta divided by 2g. So this is the expression for maximum height attained by the projectile h is equal to h is equal to u square sin square theta by 2g clear